Samsung has been doing big things with the new Galaxy A series for 2019. If you're looking for something different, the Korean smartphone maker is flipping things around with the new Galaxy A80. Is this the perfect smartphone for vloggers? Here's our full review. The new Samsung Galaxy A series is all about the era of life. They are targeting a new generation of digital natives that are capturing and sharing their moments in real time. For the first time on a Samsung device, the Galaxy A80 features a triple camera setup that slides up and rotates to the front. That means you're using the best cameras for selfies and vlogging. In terms of design, the A80 comes with an old screen front while the rear gets a clean uncluttered appearance. We have the black unit and it doesn't come with that fancy reflective effect that you get on the more affordable A50 and A70 models. The A80 has a nice heft to it. It feels quite premium. You get a slim metal frame that has antenna bands on it. The device comes with a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display that pushes a full HD plus resolution. It's the same size as the Galaxy A70, but you get a full edge to edge display that has no notches or punch holes. Being an AMOLED panel, you get a vibrant display that's great for watching video content. On top of that, the display also gets an in-display fingerprint sensor which personally I think is more reliable than the A70 which we have reviewed recently. If you prefer to use your face to unlock, too bad that it isn't supported on the A80. The Galaxy A80 comes with a single down-firing speaker which is pretty loud and I still wish that it has stereo speakers to complement the awesome screen. Unfortunately, there's no 3.5mm headphone jack. This means you have to use a dongle or you can go completely wireless with Samsung's Galaxy Buds. What's interesting is that there's no earpiece speaker for voice calls. Instead, it has an embedded speaker underneath the display. Surprisingly, you can even put your ear on the back of the device and you can still hear the other person quite clearly. Of course, the optimal position is to place your ear on the top half of the screen. Despite being the most premium Galaxy A series, it still does not come with any water or dust resistance. The Galaxy A80 comes with a triple camera setup. It has a 48 megapixel main camera from Sony, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter, and a 3D depth camera for bokeh effects. The main camera is much better than the A70, and the images turn out to be pretty good in normal daytime shots. It also looks quite decent in less ideal lighting situation. Since it doesn't come with optical image stabilization, you really need to keep your hands still. I constantly get a warning from the app that my last shot is blur. There's also a night mode which enhances the low light scene slightly but don't expect it to deliver insane night shots like the Huawei P series. The ultra wide angle lens offer greater versatility with a 123 degree viewing angle. Like the Galaxy A70, it's okay in bright situations but it can get really smudgy in low light. With the 3D depth camera, you can get impressive bokeh shots and the A80 even comes with live focus video. This allows you to vlog with a blurred background in real time. So this is a test of the live focus video taken from the Galaxy A80. So as you can see, the background is blurred. When it comes to the rotating camera mechanism, I think Samsung has missed the opportunity here as it only works in two modes, back and front. Unlike the Oppo N3 or the Asus Zenfone 6, you can't adjust the angle of the rotation. When we try out the A80 during the regional launch, we noticed that the camera was limited to 1080p in selfie mode. Now it appears that Samsung has removed this limitation on our review device and we can now record 4K resolution for both front and back. There's digital image stabilization for video but do note that if you turn it on, it switches the video resolution to 1080p. For selfies, apart from the normal mode, there's also an ultra wide angle mode as well as a crop mode which provides a close up of your face. Despite using the same 48 megapixel autofocus camera, the selfie mode doesn't allow you to tap to focus. If you need flash for your selfie picture, it uses a screen to illuminate your face instead of using the LED flash. 
if I've one major complaint about the camera is its position. The triple cameras are placed too close to the edges and sometimes my fingers tend to get in the way, especially in wide angle mode. At 6.7 inches, the A80 is definitely a two-handed device. It is tough to shoot with a single hand, but it can make it easier by dragging the shutter button to another location. The Galaxy A80 runs on a Snapdragon 730 processor, which is the closest thing to a flagship class processor from Qualcomm. Everything runs smoothly with no issues in terms of performance. I like Samsung's One UI interface, which is more refined than other Chinese skins. The A80 for Malaysia has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Strangely, there's no micro SD card expansion slot, and what you get here is a double sided dual SIM tray. Another nice feature which Samsung has included is Samsung Pay. This is the only device in the current Galaxy A lineup to support it, and it works with any card terminal that accepts NFC payments. Paying with your phone is just convenient, and all you need to do is to swipe up and authenticate with your fingerprint. Powering the Galaxy A80 is a model's 3700 mAh battery, which is quite small considering the A70 came with a larger 4500 mAh battery. On a full charge, it lasts a full day with 5 to 6 hours of screen on time, which is pretty good. Fortunately, it comes with a 25 watt super fast charger, which is more powerful than what you get on the current Galaxy S10. A full charge from 1% took around 1 hour and 35 minutes. And nope, you don't get wireless charging. I know, I know, some of you don't really fancy a phone with moving parts, and you might think that this mechanism might pose some durability issues in the long run. We've seen sliders, pop-up mechanisms, and flip phones, but unlike other manufacturers, Samsung didn't really share any durability figures for the A80's rotating mechanism. It does feel a bit flimsy, and it wobbles a bit when you tap the module with your fingers. We've tried to push and pull the camera module once a while, and so far, it has been holding up pretty well. The Galaxy A80 is a unique device, and at the time this video was shot, Samsung hasn't revealed its official price tag. A couple of retailers have indicated that the A80 will be going for 2,499 ringgit, which is quite expensive. You can almost get a flagship class smartphone like the Galaxy S10e. If you just want a big screen and a big battery smartphone from Samsung, you can always go for the A70 that's now going for as low as 1,699 ringgit. On top of that, the A70 still has a headphone jack, a micro SD card expansion slot, and a huge battery that pushes close to 8 hours of screen on time. It's hard to recommend the Galaxy A80 unless of course if you're someone who wants a big screen smartphone with no notches and if you're into vlogging and likes to take a lot of selfies. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on your YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our next videos. Don't forget to check out the latest video here and also, another awesome video right here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!